Girls, where's Benji? Who's Benji? Who's Benji? It's his contest. He's supposed to be here, and he's not here. Where is he? Oh, oh. I don't know. You want us to go find him? Yeah, you know what? Go find him, because we need stuff ASAP. We need him right away. All right, chill. Dude. Thank you for calling Transworld Media. Please wait. Hello? Yeah, hello? Is this Transworld? This this is Chris. Hi, Chris. Oh, is this the editor? Editor-in-chief? Benji! Yeah, hi. How you doing, bud? What's going on? Just powering out, super busy. Got a, you know, three-day weekend coming up, trying to finish all my stuff. What's going on? What's happening? Well, it's Sonny Garcia out right now. Like, as sunny as it gets. And, um... I don't know. I, I was hoping that, that I can cheer you up, because I know you work for a living, and, uh... I'm having a surf contest slash fun party day. You want to come hang out? You're <laughs> you're throwing a surf contest. No, I'm actually surfing in it too. And there's a reason because I can't lose. If I if you could lose, I wasn't gonna surf in it. But this way, I made it so I can't lose. So you got to get out of the office, put some trunks on, and come hang out. Okay. It's not really All gonna right. be like your normal one where you get points and make heats. It's just gonna be fun and. At the very end, you're gonna feel different. Screw it, I'm in. Where, where am I going? Take your, take your pants off, jump on your car, and get your board. Let's dance. I'll be there in a half hour. Okay, later. Hurry up. Screw this. I am going to the beach. Barney's at home. Whoa, man, dude. <laughs> I just talked to Benji. I'm going to the contest thing. It's super fun and awesome. I don't know. I don't know who Benji is, but you're not Benji. going anywhere without credentials. Benji's naked, actually, right there. Look. Where? Girls, I'm gonna need some backup. Lacey's in trouble. This is our beach. <sighs> No, no, this is, oh, it's, it's okay, he's okay. This is Chris Cote. Oh, hey, like, you guys, this is okay. This guy's okay. It's Chris Cote. I know you don't know his name. No, really do I. But uh, you guys, good security, though. Way to go. Anyone else is not a welcome, but he's welcome, sort of. How are you doing? Are you all right? It's a fun event. I wasn't supposed to be like that. You're welcome, dude. Ladies. Nice. That, I, that was actually okay, though, right? That wasn't too bad. All right. Bud Light Lime Surf Series 2011 down at Church in San Clemente, California. We have 32 of the best surfers in the world, all free surfers, guys that never surf competition, vying for this and a bunch of green cash. We got eight women that are better than the men and women running the show. So there's nothing wrong with this except we gotta draw up the heats and start this thing. Let's do this. Ah! All right, I'm gonna try as hard as I can not to sound like a, a commentator at strip bar. Well, now it's just a little laugh. I wanted to grow up to be a businessman. Then my daddy, he showed me how to surf. And I decided that day I was never gonna... No, this position's good, because I always like being on top. But, um, nah, I just, it's fun, man. It's fun, you know why? Because I'm not that good in the water, but I'm really good right near the water. So this works out good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what's going on, even especially over there. I don't, I'm really scared. It's exactly what you would expect the contest at Benji would be kind of, you know, brainstorming, you know? Hey, we're going to come down, you know, we're going to have cornhole games and all the boys are going to be sitting around, we're going to judge each other and, you know, talk crap about each other and just have fun and no pressure and 
you know, you gotta start drinking beers at 11 or you're a kook, <laughs> you know? See, we're gonna put you in heat too. I'm gonna go change it up right now. This event's really cool because it's just so laid back and it's just a bunch of friends I've known for years and then a lot of guys that I looked up to when I was a kid as well. So it's like really cool surfing with them. I'm gonna scratch Makua, put him in heat. Let's put, uh, let's see. He just, he just, he wants to surf later and that's what we're doing is we're gonna accommodate. I bet a lot of people are gonna start doing it like this pretty soon because it's just a really feel good kind of like rootsy contest sort of, you know? We're gonna do women's and then men's and then women's and then men's just to keep it lively. Uh, we just changed it up a little bit. We had first heat of women's out there and all the guys were like psyching because the waves look fun so we decided to mix it up and tell the judges and everybody that we're gonna change it and now it's heat two's men. Put on Twitter, it's probably one of the best events I've ever been to. You know, just the just the vibe. You know, the boys are hanging out. Everybody was hacking each other. Um, you know, just just cruising. I mean, you know, the waves are fun. You know, I, I don't think I've ever uh, gone down to the event and hung out all day. It's always meant a lot to me to hang out with my peers and my you know my hero, my heroes really. You know, so you know it's inspiring. You know, when I go to the beach normally I'm by myself and there's not really anyone to amp me up or inspire me. So. It's extra special just to come down and have a weekend surfing with your friends, and yeah, it's awesome. Man, Roy's, Roy's kind of better looking though. You know, we got mic'd up in the water. It's just, it's pretty hilarious, actually. He's, he's hugging me. It's a whole different thing. I've never seen it before, so it's, it's really cool. Yeah, it was kind of interesting to, to kind of have a chat to them while you're yeah. in the water. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Big flat back. The foam. A little cutty. Wow, that was a bit of a head flick on that thing. Hey, how good does that mic sound? Are you serious? I didn't think it worked that good. Listen. Cutty! <laughs> I love it's it. It's Jadson right here. Taking it through. Yeah, off. Claim for extra points. That's the best thing I've ever seen and heard in my life. That was so awesome. Best run that's ever. Look at that. Like there's Beshin right there, signing out free surfing. Um, you know, Dion's here, Maku is here, uh, Pascal's here, Wardo's here. I mean, there, there's so many different people that you you rarely see. You know, it doesn't really matter who is in your heat. It's just like they judge the whole round. So like when we're out there, we're not scrapping for waves against each other. It's just like we're free surfing. Gorkin did a pretty sick rodeo, or a Gorkin flip. Well, that was pretty impressive. I don't know, I just was like, try to flip. And when I landed, I was like, whoa, this is cool. <laughs> so, I was stoked. It just kind of set up my momentum to where my mind state just was like, oh, this is going to be a fun day. We have a set coming in. Just real quick, real quick, tell us, what should the surfers do to maximize their sporting potential? Out the back, just paddle. <laughs> so, oh, Nate Tyler, did you see that? I saw that. What was that? It was a bird, a plane. It's a bird plane. <laughs> I put a hundred bucks down on who can do the most 360s on one wave. There he goes. There's one. There's another. Two. Another. Three. Four. Four. It's unprecedented. Four 360s. That's a hundred bucks, man, from you. Four 360s in a row. Four 360s in a row on one wave. When Amazing. do you see that? Who's single in Heat 8? The girls want to know. Freddie, you know, right? Is Moody single? I know Timmy's not. <laughs> um, Chippa. Chippa is single. Chippa loves to single. Bring him over here. Bring him over here.
I mean, when I showed up and I got tackled on the beach, that was probably the highlight of my day one, but there was also surfing happening. Right. Um, first thing that comes to mind to me, the Gorkin flip by yeah. Gorkin. Yeah, for sure. Landmark event where Dion Aegis commentated his own wave. I oh, that was nice. Rio. <laughs> Big fat back. If he's never commentated at a contest, yes, right. and he's done it all in one wave. It was incredible. Saturday, Sunday, we have a bigger swell, and I hope this sun and uh, more human beings that are having fun. So I'm bringing an eight-foot board because it's going to be giant. Yeah. And you need to bring some more oil. I, I need a bronze one. Well, let's get those girls in the bikinis. I know, right? Bikini girls. It's like, hey, we're at the beach, but we're in clothes. Do we yeah. have a deal? Tomorrow there's going to be bikini girls. Shake, yeah, we're going to okay. shake on it. Okay, it's a, it's a go. Good luck cleaning up the beach. I'm going to happy hour. Okay, I'm going to go take a nap. Good night. Landed, ladies. What? Huh? The Bud Light truck. Oh! We're on it. Stop! Whoa, easy there, big boy. Get out. Do you have a license to drive that rig? <sighs> we'll take it from here. Out. Come on, ladies. Benji, as a contest director, is actually doing really good. He went to bed early last night, he got up super early, he's been down on the beach, answering all the questions. He doesn't have a clipboard, which I, I think would help. So maybe today we get him a clipboard and that will kind of like make him feel more official. If he needs it. Yeah, there's like the odd little, um, little right that looks good. Like some of the guys have been punting on the right, so I reckon. Oh, sorry. It's kind of fun though, there's a couple. Sure, I just don't know who's going out first. Benji's directing, so I think it's no one knows what's going on. <laughs> Pretty loose right now. Five, four, three, two, and one. <coughs> on the clock for this men's heat. Benji, get out there already. Come on, you can do it. Let's go. Can you go here? The heat, please. Restart the heat. I was on the phone. I was on the phone talking to somebody at the time. Well, if this was a paddle race, I think uh, Benji would be in last. But it's not. It's a surf contest. Look at this thing. What? Oh! Ah! Come on now. Well, thank you everybody for coming down and joining us on this day. Beautiful weekend here, Bud Light Lime Surf Series. Also, we'd like to thank Mali Ola Foundation, the breath of life. You can check them out online, maliola.org. We go surfing with the kids. I help uh, kind of do some of the ideas for our art program that we introduced to all the hospitals in the United States. It's just amazing. It's cool to see the, you know, the, the best of the best helping, helping kids. Hey guys, it's Tiffany, day two of the Bud Light Lime competition. Here is your surf line surf report. Waves are about three to four feet, shoulder to waist high. Earlier this morning we had some intense eddy winds and those look like they're getting a lot better, so that's good news. 
We have a northwest swell and southwest ground swell. Air temperature right now, it's about 60 degrees. You're looking at 61 for your water temperature. And the right at the moment look like you can go straight down the barrel. Lefts have some pretty good aerial opportunities. We're looking at some great conditions right now, guys. The sun's out, it's two foot, there's waves coming through, guys are ripping, so it's, it's fun. Mike Lawson just went to work out here at uh, one of his home red churches down here in San Clemente. He got a 7-9 front side, boom, tail kick. It's hard to get, when you get the tail higher than the, you know, that's, that's what we're looking for, right? I love this format, it's really fun. And you're serving with your friends, and yeah, it's a good event. It's all against the round, so it's not not so much the, the dude versus dude. Yeah, not not much pressure. It takes the whole like kind of. I guess a little bit of the emotional battle with certain guys, you know, trying to fight for waves and whatever. You're just kind of out there surfing with your friends, you know? Hey, you guys, they're saying we're too far out. Let's move in a little bit. There's less. <laughs> It makes it really interesting, you know, when you're out in the water. One guy's doing airs, the other guy's doing hacks. If there's an event like this in Brazil, I'd be like, yeah, let's go to Brazil. Sick, but well, I wish every event was like this. I know everyone's having fun though, and so just hopefully go out there and get a couple waves and have some fun, that's what it's all about. Having a good time. This whole atmosphere is insane. I just feel like I'm at a barbecue with all my friends, and then we decided to have a surf event. And, and then one of our rich friends said, I'll give everybody money for surfing. Party, we got cornhole, we got uh, beer, we got fans, we got surfers. When you mix surfers and beer together, that's a party. <laughs> Best contest ever, have to say it. <laughs> Oof. You guys suck at this game, cornhole. Let me show you how it's done. The cornhole competition was very intense. Uh, There's lots of people that showed up for their said times, but uh, they actually got to see Jay and Junior as the winners. Team, pretty much. Bring Hawaiian. it. What's up? Come on. Hawaiian holiday combo, right here. Have you noticed right here to the inside? Like we have a trench. I started breaking sweat. I had to, we started sweating, all kinds of deals. It's the nerd most nerd bye bye. We were uh, we were clinched and got through it all through the suffering day of making money. Totally having Bud Tour flashbacks. If you really look at that time period, there's such great surfers that got to start from being on this tour and learn to compete at you know higher level against better and better surfers. Back in the day, I mean, the Bud Tour was sort of everything. It was kind of the stepping stone to the World Tour, and in some ways was almost uh, superior to the Tour. I mean, it almost seems like there's, it's a missing piece right now as it is, so it'd be great if it came back. Super stoked on what uh, Bud Light's doing here. It's kind of like a reminiscing the past for me. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome to the Bud Light Lime Surf Series. Lots of action today. In the water right now are legends. Let's start with Vinny De La Pena. He's won three major events on the Bud Tour uh, and he is a standout. Okay, let's talk about Happy Paddle Clown. Originally his name was Frosty coming out of Chicago, Illinois. Uh, Jimmy Hogan would be our vet out there at 48 and he is just runs and guns and he is still a frother like he was growing up in San Clemente. And then we come to Chris Brown, now living in Santa Barbara, and he has got just a, an amazing story and what he does now for a living, what he's done in the past. But uh, you coined the phrase, wrap around Brown because his beautiful rail work.
And that means the veteran of the group with a nine point backhander, Jimmy Hogan with eight hundred bucks in the room. See what everyone was doing. I heard some guys were throwing some good airs yesterday and stuff, so I just wanted to check it out. Come see Benji and a few of my buddies. It was fun. The waves are, you know, it's pretty mushy, but there's, you know, it reminds me of Florida, which I like. If you get one that has a little wall and then a closeout, it's got enough enough power to get some speed and then do a couple airs. I got a front side and a back side reverse, so it was fun. It was worth it. Just like looks as smooth as ever. She's still ripping. And still beautiful as ever. Yeah, she's just doing the same thing, you know, it does like time has stood still. Wow, we got two Lisa people up right now. To Megan on the right. Oh, yeah! yeah. Awesome. Megan. Megan. Woo! Watch out right. the tail. fun more than like taking it like a dog eat dog contest. Shred final. Well for one we got like uh, Lisa Anderson. Lisa Anderson world champ, like got Kyla Langan, local shredder, Claire Bevelacqua, crazy little Australian nugget, and Megan and Bobo. It's cool to see how and for me I just kind of reminisce on the past and like oh wow like we've come a long way and it's it's been a great ride. Oh it looks like Kyla at the back. Kyla. A lot of speed. Oh, it's a nice little vert turn.
covered in beer. It was already pretty cold, but um, just really stoked. Haven't won a contest in a while, and this has been uh, one of the most fun events I've had in a really long time. I, I wish all contests were this like laid back. So it was cool. Coming up next is the men's finals. Some hot man-on-man -man action. The boys are in the water. Let's get started. So I guess, uh, Sonny, who we got in the final right now? Do we even know? I have no <laughs> clue. We got Mike Losses coming from San Clemente, California. Mitch Colburn, is that how we wrote it out? And he's from Australia somewhere. We can't, oh, Sunshine Coast. Roy Powers, Sonny, you've met Roy, right? Roy, Roy was psyching, actually. He said he really, really wants to win this. Nice. And then our fourth is another Joanne. Uh, he's kind of Sonny's protege, really. That's what I call him. He's my mini me. He's mini me. He's a. We <laughs> got K. Cole book also, and he's pretty much my favorite surfer on the planet. So he, he should win just, just because of the color of his wetsuit. <laughs> Any guy that surfs that good <laughs> with that wetsuit is my hero. Before it starts, we're going to have a push up contest. So this is going to be gnarly. K. Cole is in prime shape, so he should do good. Right. Hey, look at me. I made the final. My name is Mike Lossness. Rip. In yeah, fourth is better than fifth in this contest. Have fun. And if you win, I get 20%. Yeah, let's do this. One, two, one, dip. Well, I'm just, just, just judging by outfits right now, fashion-wise. Mitch has the edge. It's because it's yellow and it's green. And it's the Bud Light lime colors. And I don't know if he planned this. But, hey, what board are you guys riding? I don't care. Here goes first ride up is Mike Lossness coming hot and heavy out of the gates. Ooh. Hey, can't call it. The weather just came in for the final and made it really serious. Hey Ben, don't you think it's funny how every time there's a final, the waves just seem to go flat? You know what? I got an idea. That's so true. Maybe we should blow the horn, call it off, and everybody, hey, it's over for the day, and then a 12-foot set will come, we'll blow the horn again and start it over, right? That's how it works. You want to do that? No one's ever done that in the history of surf contests. All right, you guys in the water, count down, 10. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No, restart. Call it a wrap. <laughs> no, it's a countdown. It's starting on the final starting. Ten, nine, three, two, one. Oh, here it comes. Look at this set. Give also another hug. Hey, guys, set. Outside. Everybody crashing to the horizon. Roy Powers. Not gonna happen. That's amazing. Wait, yeah, that, that actually worked. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that a perfect left I see? Oh, weird. <laughs> Look at this right here. Right into a left lostness. Boom! Nice lostness. Right here. Wow, nice turn. That is the combo that he wants to have under his. Is it his house, Fred, that he built or something? How does it work? I, I couldn't handle it. I'm getting post-traumatic stress disorder just from being in that final. So who's looking good? Lostness obviously has a couple good ones. And Roy? Oh, this lap is incredible, Roy boy. Come on now. Wow, here we go. Wow, Roy knows how to surf, man, when he's got a jersey. I'll tell you what. Boom. Get around there. Oh.
Yeah! Yeah, I can't go on. That was pretty sick way. Right? That was that was right on the buzzer, K Koa. Way to go. That looks like it's a that's a wrap. No? <laughs> Are we good on that, judges? Let's tally that up. Let's count it. Girls. You guys tackled me at the beginning of the week, and now we're all just in here. Let's just do this. Let's do this. Nice. See, he, he uses all this. Oh, I got a hug? You guys did roll. Oh my god, this is so this is a horrible moment. Stop it. Stop it. Seriously. Stop it. No, I'm kidding. All right, let's get the four finalists up here. How's them apples? So now it's all about just telling you how it all came about. And in fourth, really? Jeez, you did good. You did so good. But I thought you were going to buy all the beers tonight. Looks like you're not. Roy Powers, by the way, got fourth power. I high-fived him, I thought you would already know his name. Um, it's third place, he's missed out on this little lovely mug that we're gonna give second. All right, in second place. Yeah, it's the hybrid of Sonny Garcia coming in second from Hawaii. But he does drink beer, I know that. I found out on Facebook, and he's got a beer mug. For at least a weekend, he'll lose it. Okay, and that means winning from San Clemente, California. Mike Lawson, he blew it up in the final, got really, really good laughs, and he has a great winner. That, on his head. that, on that his head. is it. Oh, wow. That made me cold. And thirsty, by the way. Mike Lawson wins the first Bud Light Lion Surf Series event, brought it home, and all you guys deserve a round of applause. I had a blast. This event was so fun. Um, it was probably the best surf contest I've actually ever been at. Every single time I paddled out with a jersey on, I felt no pressure and I was just surfing with my friends. It was literally like just an expression session. You know you wanted to get some good waves and that scores were going to count at the end of the day, but it was really just like surfing with your buddies. How's it? I'm Freddie P. And it's done. The first annual Bud Light Lime Surf Series. Roll the credits. Four, three, two, one. one.